sweet friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Ashley and today I have some weekly laundry motivation for you it took me four days to tackle this week's laundry and I would say that's not too bad since I spent one full day just washing the kids beddings and blankets sheets and uh, squishmallows and everything that they have on all of their beds so I would say that that's not too bad to tackle all this week's laundry. It just took me, like I said, four days and one full day was just me cleaning bedding. So that's how I started off day one. I wanted to go ahead and just wash and clean all of the kids' bedding. So I started off with Madison sheets and blankets and Squishmallow. Now that they are done washing, I'm going to go ahead and just transfer everything into the dryer and get it dried and then throw Jacob's bedding and Pillow Pet and everything in the washer and get it all washed and clean. So if you have some laundry that you need to tackle today, why don't you go ahead and grab that load and let's get to washing, drying, and folding together. There's no better way to tackle some laundry than tackling it with a friend and I really hope to be that friend for you today. If you don't have any laundry that you need to tackle but maybe you have something on your to-do list that you would like to check off, why don't you go ahead and grab that to-do list and I hope I give you whatever motivation you need to check whatever it is off on that list as well.
So now that Jeremiah's bedding and pillows and everything are done washing, I'm just going to transfer them into the dryer and get them dried and then throw Ryder's bedding into the washer and get it all washed and clean. While Ryder's bedding is washing and Jeremiah's bedding is drying, I'm going to head into Jacob's bedroom and go ahead and put his sheets and blankets and everything back on his bed. So that way his bed is done for the day. And then I've already put sheets on Jeremiah's bed because he has two separate sheets for his bed. So that was quick and easy. I'm just going to put his sheets up in the closet once they are done drying. And then of course I'll put his blankets and pillows and everything back on his bed for him to have that night. And then Ryder's bed, I'm going to go ahead and make his bed as well once all of his bedding is washed and dried. So I would love to know what you did over the weekend. We had a super busy weekend, but it was such a fun weekend. It was Madison's first dance competition for this dance season with her new dance studio, and it was absolutely amazing. She had um, dances Friday night, Saturday, as well as Sunday. So Friday, she competed three of her group dances. One was a um, lyrical, the other was a tap dance, and then um, a musical theater dance. And then she competed four of her um, other group dances on Saturday. One was hip hop, another um, like a contemporary, and then two jazz dances. And then Sunday she competed her solo, which was absolutely beautiful. So it was just a very long, busy weekend for us, but it was so much fun. But I would love to hear what you did over the weekend. The boys um, had baseball practice some, but other than that, it was a relaxing weekend for them. They were not super busy. Now they did come along and watch Madison, and um, I guess you can say they enjoyed it. But like I said, it was a long, long day, um, or long, long days. So they did not come on her solo day, which was fine. But other than that, it was a very fun weekend. Um, I would love to hear what you guys did over the weekend as well. But now we are on day two of laundry motivation and I showed you all of our loads of laundry that I need to try to tackle. So I'm starting off with what I consider a very easy load, which is Madison's clothes. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them in the washer, get them all washed and clean. Once they are done washing, I will transfer them into the dryer and dry them as well as hanging up a few pieces that she does not want me to dry. And then we will move on to Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes. I will go ahead and throw their clothes in the washer while her clothes are drying. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late to let it go and that's why i wish you the best to say goodbye you start to get dressed and then we cry cause we both know it's gonna hurt but not as much as this does we had a good run don't say we didn't i was your first love and you were my first one Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to say to 
wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. So oh, baby, bye. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt. So now I am just taking Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes out of the dryer since they are done drying and then I will transfer Ryder's clothes into the dryer and get them all dried and then I'm going to do my final load for the day which is mine and Nick's clothes. I will throw them in the washer and get them all washed and clean while Ryder's clothes are drying. Once Ryder's clothes are completely done drying, I'm going to head into his room and go ahead and fold and put them away. So that way I don't have to worry about doing them the next day because uh, Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes is going to take up one laundry basket for me to fold and put away the next day. And then mine and Nick's clothes will take up the other laundry basket for me to fold and put away the next day. So I needed to go ahead and take care of Ryder's clothes and just put them away since it was super easy. It is getting later at night so I did not want to go ahead and put... Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes away and mine and Nick's clothes away but at least all of our loads are completely washed and clean and then now all I have to focus on getting washed and clean is the towels. But right now I would like to take a minute just to reintroduce myself and tell you a little bit more about myself and my family because we've had so many new friends join our family here so I thought it's just a perfect time to do this because I haven't done it in a while. So like I said earlier, my name is Ashley and I'm a stay-at-home mom to four beautiful children. I've been doing YouTube for a few years now with a few breaks here and there. Um, life just gets super busy here lately so it's just been crazy but I feel like I am on a good routine right now and I'm keeping up with it and I'm loving every minute of it because I love filming and editing and just getting content out for you to help motivate you to get things done around your house. And then I also watch a little girl Monday through Friday while her mom is working and she is just the sweetest little girl ever. She just recently turned one so she is just a little one but it's so much fun watching, watching her as well. Um, our four kids, their ages range from 15 all the way down to four. Our oldest is Madison. She is our only girl and she is 15 years old. She's a freshman in high school. She's been dancing for 11 years now and absolutely loves it. And she just stays busy with school and all of the school activities as well as dance and hanging out with friends. Our oldest son is Jacob. He just turned 14 in January. He's in eighth grade. He's on a travel baseball team year-round, so he is about to start back up with baseball. Um, he just finished his basketball season, and he also stays super busy with friends and just sports and stuff as well. And then we have Jeremiah, who's 12. He'll be 13 in June. He is also on a travel baseball team, so that's starting back up, and he just finished his basketball season as well. He was on the same team as Jacob this year, so that was nice to have them on the same basketball team. And then we have Ryder. He is our youngest. He's four years old. He will be five in July. He goes to preschool three days a week. Other than that, he stays right up under me and helps me get things done around the house, and then he is also starting back up with his little t-ball season as well. So that is just a little bit about all of my kids. Me and my husband, we have been married for um, 16 years, together for 18 years. And he travels some here and there with work, but he does work from home when he is not traveling. And um, his name is Nick. So yeah, that's a little bit about that as well. Other than that, like I said, our kids just keep us super busy. So that is what we focus on right now is just enjoying all the time that we have with them because we know that it will be gone before we know it. So that is how we spend most of our time with all the kids' extra activities. Um, I do love doing YouTube. I love creating content. And I really hope that the content I create gives you motivation to get up and get things done around your house. Um, I would love to hear a little bit more about you and your family. So definitely leave a comment down below letting me know more about yourself and your family. 
So now we're on day three of laundry motivation and I'm starting off by just folding all of Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes and putting them away and hanging up their shirts as well as taking care of all of mine and Nick's laundry too. So those were the two baskets that I had sitting overnight. So I'm going to just, like I said, tackle those, put everything away, hang everything up and get all that taken care of. And once I'm done doing that, I will head into the laundry room and go ahead and start the load of towels. I'm gonna throw them in the washer and get them all washed and clean. And then that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and I hope I gave you some motivation to get up and get some laundry done, get something done around your house, whatever it might've been, I hope I gave you all the motivation you needed to get up and get it done. If I was able to do that, please let me know by liking this video. It really does help my channel out as well. Definitely leave a comment down below. I love chatting and getting to know each and every one of you. So leave me a comment down below letting me know a little bit more about yourself, your family, where you're from, what you did over the weekend, how many loads of laundry you were able to tackle, or whatever you were able to do while watching this video. I would love to hear all about it. Definitely come back for some more laundry motivation and cleaning motivation. Our house is actually off the market at this point in time. So I'm going to definitely have some cleaning motivation coming your way now that I'm not having to keep my house spotless 24 seven. So stay tuned for that. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. It truly does mean the world. I hope you guys all have an amazing week and definitely come back later for some more motivation. I'll catch you in the next one, friends. Bye. Talk to me, baby.